What happens in case when we introduce a dielectric between the two plates of the capacitor? So let us say we had these two plates and the distance between them is D and we have a battery, we charge it. What will happen? There will be electric field E0, let us say, in between the two plates. We charge it with the battery. Now, initial condition, what all things can we write? What is the value of electric field E0 will be equal to sigma by epsilon naught. Sigma is the charge density. Next is, what about the charge? So let us say Q0 charge comes in. So on the positive plate, it is plus Q0. On the negative plate, it is minus Q0. So initial charge Q0 and the value of Q0 is going to be is equal to, if this is V and we have charged it to some initial value, let us say at steady state, the potential is V0. Okay, so we have charged it fully. So what we can write? It's going to be equal to C0 and V0. So let us say, or for all initial things, we are using the notation C0. Let us say capacitance is C0. Let us say the voltage is V0. Okay, so Q0 is going to be is equal to C0 into V0. And C0 is going to be equal to epsilon naught A by D. Why epsilon naught A by D? Why? Because there is nothing. It's just an air capacitor. Like in between, there is nothing air, right? Fine. So these are the three things that we note initially. We have the value of electric field, we have the value of charge and we have the value of the capacitance. Perfect. Now we are going to remove the battery and this is very important. This is something that you should understand that by removing the battery, what will happen? By removing the battery, what will happen? By remo removing the battery, the charge, whatever charge we have on this is going to remain the same. The charge will not change. All right. If you remove the battery, like now we have removed the battery, the charge is going to still be Q0. The charge still will be how much? Will still be equal to Q0. No problem. The charge still remains equal to Q0. Now, the moment you have inserted this, this is the dielectric. Let us say the dielectric constant is some value K. Okay. What will happen now? Immediately, all these dipoles will start getting aligned and you'll have positive charges, net positive charges over here and you'll have net negative charges over. Here. I'm not going to draw the same diagram again and again. And we know that there is going to be an electric field in this direction. Correct. And let us say there is some charge density for this dielectric. Let us say plus sigma one over here and you'll get minus sigma one over here. No problem. The dielectric constant is K. So immediately you will see that the moment you place this dielectric between the two plates, there will be electric field in opposite direction. And that is going to reduce the net electric field within this volume, the volume where between the two plates. Okay. The moment you have placed this dielectric, immediately the charges will appear. There will be electric field in opposite direction. So the net electric field in this volume is going to get reduced. All right. So as, as we know that the net electric field will get reduced. And this is because of the effect of the dielectric. So we will see different, different parameters. We will see what is the effect on the electric field? What is the effect on charge? What is the effect on capacitance? What is the effect on the voltage? What is the effect on the energy? All these parameters we'll see. Let's see the effect of the dielectric on the electric field. The net electric field that we get the net electric field that we get will be equal to E0 by K. How? It comes from the definition itself. We say that dielectric constant K is defined as E0 divided by E net. Correct. This is how we define it, which means we get E0 by E net, which means the value of E net will be equal to what? The value of E net will be equal to what? E naught by K. So it is the dielectric constant is the factor by which the factor by which the electric field between the plates get reduced to. All right. So it reduced by a factor of K. Correct. So the moment you have placed a dielectric, what happens? The electric field gets reduced by a factor of K. Perfect. So now we know that initially it was E naught. Now it is E0 by K. Okay. Now it is E0 by K. Next is the effect of the dielectric on the potential difference. Okay. 
Now let us say the initial potential difference between the two plates was V0. That is what we had taken in the initial condition. Now we know from the definition V0 is equal to E0 into D. Correct? This is the case when it is without the dielectric, no dielectric, no dielectric, correct? Now once you place the dielectric, what is the new, what is the new value of the electric field? So when we place this dielectric, let us say that now the potential difference is V. So V is equal to, what is the new electric field now? E0 by K times D. All right. Now you see E0 into D is what? V0. So V is equal to V0 by K. So what do you, what, what do you confer from this? What do you take away from this? Well, the potential difference also has decreased. The potential difference also has decreased. No problem. By what factor? By the same factor. Okay. So the potential difference between the plate gets reduced by a factor of K. All this is happening when, again, I want to remind you that when we had a battery and we charged it and then we removed the battery. This is the condition. Don't forget that. Okay. So potential, as you can see, the potential difference has changed in this particular case. Okay. Next, let us see the effect on the capacitance once you have inserted this dielectric. So the effect of the capacitance can be seen in two different ways. One is that we already know that Q0 is equal to C0 into V0. So we know from here that C0 will be equal to Q0 divided by V0. No problem. Okay. This is the initial condition. Now let us say the new capacitance is C that is going to be equal to Q by V. Right. So Q. Now, as I told you that you have removed the battery. Now there is nothing which can supply more charge to it. Right. So the charge is going to remain constant. Always remember this. So when you have close the circuit with the battery and then you have removed the battery and then you have placed the dielectric. There is nothing which can give additional charge, right? So charge is going to remain constant. So if charge remains constant, this is going to be Q0 and instead of V0, can I write it as V? And can I write V as V0 K, correct? V0 by K, so K comes in numerator. What do you get now? Q0 by V0 is equal to what? C0. So can I write C is equal to K times of C0, which means the new capacitance has increased by a factor equal to the dielectric constant. Well, there is also one more basic approach towards it to prove the same thing. Let us say the initial capacitance C0 can be written as epsilon naught A by D. The new capacitance, let us say, is going to be C. So C with the dielectric can be written as ER into E0, that is epsilon R into epsilon naught divided by. This is the expression right once you place some other medium then this is the expression er or relative permittivity is nothing but equal to dielectric constant so this is k epsilon naught a by d what is this this is nothing but c naught so you get c is equal to k times of c naught so whichever method you find is easy you can just proceed with that not a problem both of them are correct right okay and you get the same result that is c is equal to k times of c naught so what we can conclude from here we can conclude that the capacitance gets increased by a factor of k all right so now let's quickly accumulate all the points that we have got and all the parameters because these information are very very important and they will help us in problem solving if they want to make some complex question out of the dielectric part it is here that they are going to target all right the other things it's all easy so important thing is to remember that okay if you have connected it with a battery and you have removed the battery the charge remains constant number one number two the electric field within this volume gets reduced by a factor of k that is by the dielectric constant k the voltage that is a potential difference also gets reduced by k and the capacitance increases the capacitance increases by a factor of k so this is something that you need to always keep in your mind so electric field reduces potential reduces capacitance increases and since you have removed the battery only because of that reason the charge remains same did you understand did you understand? Because you initially charge it and you remove the battery, right? Let, let the capacitors reach to their steady state and then you have removed the battery. That is why there is nothing which can give extra amount of charge. 
perfect with this